Madam Deputy Speaker. Cars are no longer the purely mechanical and electronic machines they were of the past. Increasingly, cars have become more com computerised. In the past, when you took your car for a service to a mechanic, possibly the member for Fisher's dads, um, you'd pop under the bonnet, slide underneath the vehicle to tinker, inspect and check various bits and pieces. It was fairly obvious in those days what was wrong. Nowadays, it's not uncommon for the mechanic to spend just as much time in front of a computer screen looking at diagnostics and other technical details. The vast majority of Australian mechanics are independent operators. Car manufacturers are generally the owners and controllers of the code that provides this technical information. They are also the only source of software upgrades. Since most, most car manufacturers do not supply the same information to independent mechanics that they provide to the authorised dealers, these mostly small businesses are, are at an obvious competitive disadvantage. These effects are particularly pronounced in regional and outer metros such as my electorate. The computerisation of cars will continue to increase as the autonomous vehicles become more mainstream. In response to the arrival of the automated vehicles, transport ministers, in conjunction with the National Transport Commission, agreed earlier this year to review and update relevant legislation. This acknowledgement that legislation must keep pace with increasingly technological nature of the vehicles is welcome, but it obviously doesn't go far enough. Legislation also needs to change in regards to car servicing and repairs. The current situation of voluntary code is simply not working. The Australian Competition and Consumer Commission's market study report, re released late last year, concluded as much, recommending regulatory intervention to mandate the sharing of technical information with independent rep repairers on a commercially fair and reasonable terms, subject to appropriate safeguards to enable the sharing of environmental, safety and security rate related technical information. In addition, the ACCC, the Australian Automotive Aftermarket Association, who represents automotive parts and accessory retailers and wholesalers, as well as the vehicle service repairers, are pushing for reform. Stuart Charity, the executive director of the AAAA, said in December, after the release of the ACCC's report, Australia's 17 million car owners and more than 20,000 independent auto automotive repairers deserve better than the current situation that finds the car manufacturers routinely and deliberately preventing consumers from exercising choice and their consumer legal rights. This is why Labor is proposing a mandatory obligation to provide the technical information at a fair cost. This mandatory code will have no cost impact on the Australian taxpayer. Fair and reasonable fees mechanical need to, mechanics will need to pay to access the information they will cover with the administrative costs. The ACCC will act as an independent umpire to ensure access to information as well as the costs are fair and reasonable. We also ask the ACCC to con conduct a post-implementation review to ensure the policy operates as intended. Similar reforms have already been enacted in the United States and the European Union. More competition means downward pressure on prices, which means more money in the pockets of Australian car owners. This is just another example where we, Labor, is addressing the cost of living pressures for hardworking Australians. In addition to these changes, Labor will also protect penalty rates, cap private health insurance rises and address the housing affordability crisis. We do this because we know that $20 a week or more um, is, is being paid for private health insurance by families. There's $40 extra a week in childcare fees and that the Medicare freeze continues to hit people in their pockets. These changes will also increase the demand for aftermarket parts, a sector that's been struggling since this government effectively ran the car making industry out of the country. We're calling on the government to take action for, for a year now, but it would appear the government's only priority is tax cuts for big business. They don't care about the small businesses and they don't care about cost of living pre pressures. If need be, we will again hold the government to account and make sure that small businesses are able to compete on a, play, a fair playing field and consumers get the right to choose where their car is serviced and get the value for money they deserve.